Here I'm going to show you how to create a landing page on Shopify. It's very easy to do and if you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description. Shopify does come with the ability to get a free trial, so that's always a good thing. For this specific example, I used a free trial as well just to start from scratch so you know exactly how to follow along with me. There's one thing I have done specifically, so what you want to do here, there's going to be an app section. So if you click on that, what you can do is just go to all recommended apps right here. And ideally, we're going to be looking for the page fly page builder. If it's not here, sometimes it isn't, you know, just go to the Shopify app store on the bottom. All right, so let's type in, it's already there. We can just do page fly and right here, it's already installed, but what you're going to want to do is click on it. And then from there, simply install it and you're going to be good to go. It's going to end up showing on the bottom left of your screen right here. And once it's showing, you want to simply click on pages. You're going to get to a spot that looks just like this. All right, and so when we are here, we can create a blank page, which I actually don't recommend, or you can go create from template. I think templates are the best when it comes to landing pages. They allow you to get up and running as quickly as possible. Simply find a template that you kind of vibe with, that you like, and all you have to do is really change around the text, you know, the font, the colors, the pictures, link to your specific products, and you're gonna be good to go. It's kind of like taking a template and just swapping out your information in it. That's probably one of the fastest ways of doing it, which I'm gonna show you right now. Let's click on create from template. And there's a few that we can utilize right here. Given the fact that we're already like creating products on Shopify, I'm not gonna go with that or any of these. However, you can use them if you want. I'm gonna go with regular right here. And we can sort them by like type, industry, style, feature, collection. For type, I'm just gonna do this and then click on landing page. I think it's 27, yep, 27 of them. So you can scroll down and take a look at some of them that they have to offer. I love the simple ones like this. I'm probably just gonna use this for the example. You can preview it if you want to. This one's good too, like I said, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, not a whole lot of color and stuff going on there, but I think that's just fine. I'm gonna go with this one as I talked about. And just because it's showcasing appliances doesn't mean you can't use it for something completely different. So let's click on select here. I don't need to preview it. All right, and so here we are. Let's like pretend this could be like a homepage, right? So this is talking about golf. Let's say like upgrade your golf game. So anytime you wanna change something, what you can do is click in here or either like, you know, double click it, highlight it all, or just simply go right here if you want, you know, blurb about golf benefits, right? I'm not gonna go through and fill out all the specific details. This is more about showing you how to edit stuff so that when you wanna edit it, you know what to put in for yourself because chances are you're probably not gonna be doing something about golf. Maybe you are, and if you are, that's cool, but allow me to show you how to change some stuff around. So I clicked on this image here. I'm gonna go with select. And I already have some images uploaded. I'm gonna select this one here. I'm gonna remove the alt text right here because when you hover over that, it doesn't need to have the file right there. So I'm just gonna delete that. Now we have shop now. This is gonna be a button right here. It talks about how it's a button type and you can do some cool things with it. So click action, you can do, go to URL, open pop-up, scroll this section, send email, call number. You can always do go to URL, select a specific URL. If you wanna do that, it's really gonna be up to you. Okay, we understand that. So that's gonna be that section. Once again, let's just say best golf deals today. Okay, and once again, what I'm gonna do is go through and just add some of these pictures. So once again, let's select this. Let's say we have putters first. Okay, once again, let's get rid of this alt text. Next, we're gonna do say drivers. Okay, we have some drivers there. Let's get rid of the alt text. And last but not least, it's gonna be like golf clothes, right? Get rid of the alt text. So now what we can do is putters, P-U-T-T-E-R-S. I'm just gonna remove that stuff. And then we have like golf shirts or just shirts, right? So here's the cool thing, what we can also do. If we click on discover now, we can do select click action. We can do go to URL. And if you already have products set up, I put I just created some a few dinky ones, right? So products here. And this was, I believe, putter. So let's click on putter. So now when we go there, it's gonna go to our putter, putter product page. Same thing with drivers right here. Let's go to select click action. Let's go to URL. Let's select URL. We have our products and this is gonna be for driver. And of course, shirts, same exact thing right here. We can do, go to URL, select products and golf shirts. Perfect. So that's gonna be that section, all right? Show top rated products. 
So what we can do, say you have more products. I only created a few of this just for this example, but if you click on this right here, like I have it highlighted, you can just go to say all here, whatever is going to be some of your best. And of course, maybe there's only, you know, since I only have three, I'm going to do three right here. Oops. Let's do up one. Nope. There we go. Let's let it load. Perfect. Uh, grid's going to be fine. Items per row. Let's just do three. There we go. Looks great like that. Item spacing, loading mode, and so on and so forth. And once again, if you want to change this around, there's going to be uh, an add to cart button where you can do go to cart page. You can go to checkout page or go to a custom link. It's really up to you. So this doesn't have to be add to cart. You could change this link so that it just goes to the actual page for where you're selling a specific driver or maybe all of your drivers. So that's really going to be up to you, you know, if you wanted to change that around. So aside from that, there's going to be a few other things that you can do here. There's going to be animation on the bottom, attributes. Uh, tracking in case you want to do that and of course like I said if this isn't add to cart I scrolled up a little higher we can do click here to learn more okay that's if you want to change that around so looks pretty good with that we now have like Labor Day deals, okay? Once again, I'm just gonna change around this image to our golf dude obviously you could probably use some different ones there getting rid of the alt text you know uh, best deals Okay, I'm not gonna change that around. You know how to do that. So let's click on the countdown here. This shows the start time and it's also gonna show the countdown period. So like, let's say it lasts like seven days starting from that specific start time, right? See, now it shows six days, 23 hours left. So countdown end, specific time. Also, you can do redirect when timer ends. No, you can do that if you want. You can also select URL in case you wanna to go to a specific page. It's really up to you, but you could always just take that down at the specific time as well. Okay, continuing on now, let's say there's some extras here and you don't want any of this. What you do is you click on this section. You'll see how it's highlighted in blue, kind of goes around. We can go right here and just simply click on delete. And just like that, we got rid of that specific section right there. All right, maybe you're a brand new store as well. Maybe you don't want this section as all. Well. Same thing. If you wanted to change this around, obviously we're clicking here. We're changing the text. We're changing the pictures. But in case you want to remove this, I'm just going to click on delete. And of course, there's a community section once again. If you don't have an email list, that's gonna be completely fine. If you wanted to change around that picture, add some stuff to it, delete it. But once again, let's just say we wanna delete that and we just wanna have this cool right here. Free return within uh, seven days after receiving. Once again, these are all pictures. These are images, business as usual. This is a very quick landing page. Like I said, what I did before is just use the appliances one and change it for you know the niche that I'm gonna be utilizing right here. So let's just call this golf. Not gold, but golf and save. I'm going to publish. Looks good. Publish. All right. Of course, if you want to preview it, what you can do, you can click on this right here. I already have it open in a new window or a new tab, so I'll move on over to that for you. All right, and so here we are, upgrade your golf game, a little blurb about, you know, talking about a little bit more when it comes to golf. I'm not saying that these colors are the best in the world. In fact, I'll show you how to change them in case you want that. But this is just another example of, let's say that you want to learn more about t-shirts. So I'm gonna click right here. And there we go, I just put this funny picture up. It was from a royalty free one. It says, now you can look like Happy Gilmore himself. These shirts are so silly looking that almost no one will take you seriously until you split the fairways with 350 yard bombs. I at least thought it was funny. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's go back. I just want to show you where you can edit those colors. All right, so what I wanted to do is show you how to actually change around this background color. So what you want to do is click on the specific section where that color is going to be. I am under styling here, and if you scroll down ever so slightly, this is going to be the color right here. So if we click on this, now I'm not saying like a lot of these other colors are going to be any better, but just showing you in case you wanted to change it. In fact, some of these look really bad. You know, like that looks bad. Uh, I'd say most of these actually look pretty bad uh, in case you wanted to use it. There's going to be white, but the orange with like super dark, like you can't even see that on one of them. Like that's all right. But in case you wanted to do that, it's going to really be up to you. And uh, if I hit undo a few times, we can actually get back to that original one we had, which was that one. Okay. So nevertheless, that's going to be the quick tutorial when it comes to creating a landing page with Shopify. It's going to be thanks to using the app, which is going to be free. That's the page fly page builder. So what I recommend is using a template, going through, changing out some of the headlines, changing out obviously the pictures. If you want to change around the colors, you can do that as well, but not a whole lot to do when it comes to just substituting what you've been given already in a given template. 
template, that'll make your life so much easier. So that's gonna conclude this tutorial. Of course, if you wanna test out Shopify, I will leave my link in the description where you can get a free trial for them. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I know there's a lot of other things going on when it comes to this landing page builder, but as long as you can get the basics down, you can always come back and like look for other things to change if needed. Remember, it's always better to get a landing page up as opposed to waiting until it's perfect, which it usually never is, and then just you know wasting all this time and not launching it. So my name is James. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial and I'll see you in my next video.